This video will review Qatar Airways business class from Doha to Entebbe, Uganda. It is part two of my Washington DC to Entebbe video. I am Habib, a Ugandan American on a mission to visit all 54 countries in Africa before I turn 54. I will also be reviewing the airlines that fly to and within Africa on this channel. Qatar Airways flies to 31 African destinations and is a popular choice for travelers flying to Africa's east coast which is approximately five to six hours from Doha. Furthermore, Qatar is a One World Alliance partner, which makes it relatively easy to book a business class seat using points via American Airlines or British Airways. So let's get into this review. All right, so the seats on this Boeing 787 have a wide tray table. The in-flight entertainment system is on a wide screen and of course is in various languages. Below and to my right is extra storage space. Right above that is a universal outlet that works and then your seat control. We've got some more storage space here, a remote to control your huge entertainment screen and a reading light. This cabin does not have luggage bins in the middle, therefore it feels much more spacious. I just noticed that the seat I chose 5K doesn't really have a window here so if you're flying on the 787 be careful 5k doesn't have a window the drinks menu on this leg was the same as the one from DC to Doha I chose seared curry scallops and prawns for an appetizer and for the main I had the pan seared salmon and Asian smoked pepper sauce all this was served by the diverse and friendly cabin crew Bathroom looks good, no issues. The business class on this Boeing 787 is more compact than the business class on the Airbus A350 that uh, flies from Washington DC to Doha. And as you can see, the seats have no privacy here. However, you do get an entirely lie flat seat with the perfect bedding. I managed to get about three hours of sleep before the crew came by one last time to offer me something to eat and drink just before our descent into Entebbe. Qatar Airways sometimes arrives around the same time Emirates comes from Dubai. These flights are normally full, so customs might take a little longer than usual. I never use Forex bureaus at airports as they have poor exchange rates. However, on this trip, I had to exchange $100 bills for smaller notes. Why did I have to do this? Well, it's because I needed them for the next African country that I was traveling to that night. Want to know which one? Please subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications. Have you ever traveled on Qatar Airways? What was your experience like? Let me know in the comments section below and see you in the next video. Safe travels everyone.